Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Today we've got a beer from the Formbridge Brewery, and this is their Coco Wonderland. So this is a considered a full-bodied, robust porter. So with chocolate. So 6.8% ABV. This contains lactose, and these guys are out of. I always get mixed up where where these guys are from. Yeah, Bakewell in Derbyshire. So this is actually a re-review. I actually reviewed this beer, I only just checked actually, I couldn't remember, uh, in March of 2019. It had a different label back then. But um, yeah, so I picked this one up in Morrison's, I actually went into a supermarket and bought some beer. There wasn't very much in my local Morrison's in Margate, to be honest, it was, it was quite poor c compared to other places around the country. It's pretty duff. But um, but this, I saw this, I thought, oh, that's all right. And then it was like four for six quid. So I'm like, I took a punt. Hopefully it's, the recipe's not changed since the last time I've had it. All that sort of stuff. So it's a 330ml bottle then. I'll show you the crown while we're at it. Uh, getting the right way around. So yeah, established in 2005. So yeah, I mean... I'm always a bit kind of, not concerned, but what are these beers that I, I really enjoyed when I first had them, then going into supermarkets, are they going to be as good? We'll find out now. I've got a Teku glass for today for a, a change. Bit of smoke there. So yeah, I'm always a little bit, oh, I hope it's going to be good because this is a good beer kind of thing. It's happened a few times with certain beers. There we go. A lovely clean glass again. So I've got to be careful with this stem glass. So I don't want to do that too much. Quite easily break that stem. But now we've got away with that one. So it is a just above a one finger lightly tan coloured head. So into the light. Yeah, it's pretty jet black there. There's not much light coming through. So 6.8% pour. It's a, it's a it's a strong strong pour for, certainly for the UK anyway these days. I mean this would be an average in, in the states of course. But um, I mean into the point where this could be like an imperial English pour. But yeah, real fluffy bubbles on that. Really almost mousse like some larger bubbles around the outside. Of the head there, some bubbles reinforcing that just along the sides there. Look, looks the part, to be honest. I swear on the sniff. These are at room temperature, so they've not been in the fridge or anything like that. I'm getting like um, a, a kind of a synthetic cocoa powder type. Mm. Dusty cocoa powder, slightly, slight sweetness there. Give it another swirl. Try and get the aromas coming up. It's not a big bold kind of chocolatey kind of note or anything like that. I mean, it's there, but it's it's really you really have to dig around for it with with you know getting your nose in there. But it's not a prominent aroma, so I'm, my alarm bells are going already. So hopefully it tastes better than it smells. So cheers, guys and girls. It's got a nice creamy mouthfeel. It's very smooth. It's not overly sweet. 
It's 6.8% ABV and it's coming across really thin. There is a res there is a, a lingering kind of cocoa powder on the palate. Not a drying. It's slightly drying, but it's not like obviously you get a spoonful of cocoa powder put in your mouth. It's not that like kind of dry. But you know what I mean? It just it reminds you of 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 that kind of the the dregs a little bit, the strong part of of a hot chocolate or something. Not that it's overpowering. I mean that that would be overpowering, wouldn't it? But you know what I'm saying, it, it, just towards the end of the palette, it's a little bit stronger. It's very drinkable. I'm actually getting a little bit of the ABV on the taste, but not on the aroma as well. It's kind of sticking around the palate a little bit, that that kind of cho chocolate. It's more of a, it's a, a ro like a baker's chocolate, but it, it, a little bit of roasted malt in there as well, bringing that all together. It's not overly sweet. You are getting a little bit of booze, but not. It's nothing to you know overpowering or anything. It's not too bad to be fair. It's better than I thought it was going to be on the aroma. I thought the aroma was just like, what? Where? Where's the? Where's the beer? You know. It's there, but it's just. Obviously, very difficult to compare a beer I had back in twenty nineteen to today. Um, they've changed the the. Uh, they've had a relabeling as well by the look of it. It's quite a. It's very um, smart looking, quite posh looking uh, bottle of beer to be honest. I do like the design, I think it's really smart. We've got that on the crown as well. So yeah, I mean, I, some of the four bridge beers I've had in the past have been absolutely fantastic. Um, when, when they were in 500ml bottles, especially the Jaipur in 500ml bottles, that was fantastic. Um, They've chopped and changed a bit now with you know with them comes in four packs of cans or single cans and I think you still get bottles, three thirty mil bottles mind. Um and the, I think the last time I had Jaipur it wasn't the beer that I I think I reviewed it towards the end of when it was in five hundred mil bottles and that was a that was fantastic. Um so that, that beer's changed. So has this changed? It's I, I don't know. I've, I've, I've only, I actually thought I had it a few times, but according to Untapped, I only had it the once. Um, Coco Wonderland strikes the perfect balance of uh, between sweet milk chocolate and roasted coffee bitterness. Coffee. I, I, it's more of chocolate for me. I'm getting a, a baker's chocolate sweet, not overly sweet as I've said. Um, cocoa powder, a little bit of alcohol there. I suppose there is a little bit of coffee, but it's not. For me, it's it's not. It's nowhere near the. It's 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 the chocolate and the cocoa powder in this um, that are, are are pulling all the strings. Leaving a little bit of lace in, which is nice. But yeah, overall, it's not too bad. Um, it's better than I thought it was going to be originally, so that's that's a good, good thing. I've still got another three bottles there, so can't be too bad. Mm. But yeah, I mean, I think it, I can't remember how much it was, it was like two pound, two pound sixty something for one, or four bottles for six quid. So it's like okay, I just I went and grabbed them. But yeah, I'll, I'll get through them. No, no bother there. Um, any other information? I mean, the lact there is lactose in it, so it's not, but it's not crazy sweet. 
which is good. I don't like it too overly sweet. So it contains malted barley, wheat, and lactose. Um, da -da -da -da. No other information there. Lots of uh, places it goes to. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm waffling on here. So yeah, let me know if I've had this one before. I'll definitely have it again. I'd like to try it on draft one day. A cask would be amazing, I think. Um, Coco Wonderland from Formbridge then. I got this in um I'm in the known place now. Brain fart. Um Morrison's. God dear. So yeah, Morrison's got this one. So yeah, check them out. Let me know where I had it before. It's got a bit of a playlist down below and you can check the old review out of this as well from a few years ago. Thanks for watching then, you'll take care, keep safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.